Crab. Wasn't that the best birthday party ever? I think all of Car Town was there. And wasn't that fun playing pin the tailgate on the dump truck and having three kinds of ice cream and then cake and then one more kind of ice cream? And all the presents had pretty wrapping paper and ribbons and there were balloons and streamers everywhere. That was great, wasn't it, Pep? Pep? Hey, Pep. Where are you going? What's the matter, Pep? Didn't you have fun at the party? <sighs> hey, wait a minute. You've never had a birthday party, have you, Pep? <laughs> In fact, I don't even know when your birthday is since you were lost when I found you. Sorry, boy. I guess that's why you're so unhappy. And your bowl is empty, too. I'll go to the feed supply store and get you some puppy food. I'll be back real soon with your puppy food. save this. You never know when a rubber band might come in handy. Kibble, what kinds of puppy food do you have today? I'd like to get something special for Pep. Well, your timing couldn't be better. I just got some new flavors in. Spicy taco, kiwi, peanut butter, and new improved original with lumps. I'd love to get Pep's advice on which flavor he likes best. Is he with you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Kibble. Pep stayed home. He's sad because he's never had a birthday party. Well, I'd be sad too. Why hasn't Pep had a birthday party? Well, I really don't know when his birthday is. He was just a lost little puppy when I found him in that cave. Why not celebrate Pep's birthday on the day you first met? When was that? Let's see. The anniversary of when we met would be... Tomorrow! That's your answer right there. Tomorrow can be his birthday. Wow, what a great idea. And how about we throw him a surprise party? Pep loves surprises. That sounds terrific. And I already know what I'm gonna give Pep for his birthday. One of these brand new top-notch collars. That would be swell, Mr. Kibble. A new collar would be the perfect gift for Pep. Say, can I get Pep a new dog tag to go with the collar? You bet. Did I hear someone mention a birthday party? <laughs> Hi, Putt-Putt. Hello, Ms. Widget. Yes, we're going to throw a surprise party for Pep. Will you help us? Of course! I've planned so many fabulous parties that I've got it down to a science. Here's one of my special surprise party planning bags. It's got room for everything you'll need. Balloons, party favors and decorations, confirmation from a magician, your gift for Pep, and a big beautiful party cake. Thanks, Ms. Widget. 
If I can get all of these things, it'll be the best surprise party ever. That's the spirit. And be sure to come by my party store later. I'll whip up a big happy birthday banner just for Pep. I sure will. Thanks, Ms. Widget. Cut, cut. Don't forget to bring Pep back to try my new puppy food flavors. And while he's here, I can measure his neck size for his new dog collar. Will do, Mr. Kibble. Oh, a second rubber band. Hey, Pep. Mr. Kibble has some exciting new flavors of puppy food, and he'd like you to come try them. One of them's new and improved. Hello again, Putt-Putt. And hello there, Pep. Hey, Pep, it's our old friend, Mr. Kibble. Why don't you give him a big hug? new flavors, Pep. I wonder which he'll choose. Will it be spicy taco, kiwi, peanut butter, or new improved original with lumps? Let's see which one Pep liked. Spicy taco. Can we get that in a doggy bag? Certainly. Here you go, on the house. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Kibble. Will there be anything else today? I think Pep might enjoy a frolic in your new ball hut. Well, of course. Pep, why don't you dive right in? <laughs> now that I've measured Pep on the sly, I just need a tag for his new collar. What's in this crate, Mr. Kibble? That's a brand new machine for making any sort of fancy dog tag. Why haven't you taken it out of the crate yet? I still haven't finished reading all the instructions on how to put it together. I understand. Instructions can be complicated. Hey, Pep, want to go for a ride? I need to find a way to move those baby ducks. Hey, Pep, could you help the mama duck get her baby ducks into the pond? I guess that's what you call getting your ducks in a row. Good boy, Pep. Now that the baby ducks are safely in the pond, I can continue driving. <laughs> Hello, Mildred. Hi, Pot Pot. Do you have any mail for me to deliver? No, but I've got a surprise. Can you keep a secret? Of course, I'm a mail truck. I don't read your postcards, and I keep secrets. We're giving Pep a surprise birthday party tomorrow, and I want to invite everyone. Splendid! I'll spread the word to everyone. Everyone but Pep.
got a secret. I just had to let you know. I've got a secret. A place you need to go. It's the party of the century that no one knows about. Simply everyone will be there. Do not let the secret out. And the secret way to act there. And the secret thing to wear. Is to look your best and love everybody there. I could shout it out all day. I could sing an operetta. There we and her fake gifts of flowers, fifteen tons of bunnies, and diamonds from the lake, and the limo from the mansion, and the groceries from the store, and some Marsons from the putt putt game that you have played before, and the attitude to have there, and the way to comb your hair, just to look your best and love everybody there. Just look your best. Love everybody there. Just look your best and love everybody there. Just look your best and love everybody there. Here, Pep. Aren't little duckies fun? big boxes. Yes. Those are new party supplies I was bringing to the store. The boxes are filled with hats and streamers and heavy party things. I got to the door, and when I tried to unlock it, I dropped the key. Oh, no. It gets worse. When I dropped the key, that big old crow swooped down and took it. I can't get into the store without that key. Why are you giving him birdseed? I'm hoping that he's hungry. If he comes down to grab some crow chow, he'll drop the key. May I help you toss some of that crow chow? Sure! Reach right in and grab some. Okie dokie! I don't think he's interested in the crow chow. He seems to like the way your antenna sparkles in the sunlight. I heard once that crows like shiny objects. If only we had something really sparkly. I'll keep an eye out for sparkly things. Thanks. Once I can get into the store, I can give you the banner you need for the big party tomorrow. Smokey. Why, hello, Putt-Putt. How are you on this fine, sunny day? Very well, thanks. Has Mildred the mail truck been by yet? Yes, she has, Putt-Putt. And I think a, a surprise party for you-know-who is a great idea. So you can make it? Wouldn't miss it, Putt-Putt. I'll even help with the birthday candles. Gosh, wow, this looks interesting. Hi there, my name's Putt-Putt. Hello there, I'm Hank the security guard. Please don't touch the ball of string. It is the biggest ball of string in the world. The biggest? In the whole world? Goodness! Yes, goodness! It's what they all say. Which is why they put a picture of this ball of string on the cover of Goodness Book of Records. 
I can't believe you've never seen my world's largest ball of string before. Everyone else has. Hello again, ma'am. Wow, that is one hefty ball of string. And you know what I like best about it? It's so big. Yes, the biggest ball in the world. I began collecting string many years ago, starting with a piece I found on the ground after it rained. And before long, I became the proud owner of the biggest ball of string in the world. That's right, in the world. People come to see it day in, day out. <laughs> but I'm getting kind of tired having the biggest ball of string in the world. If I had the biggest ball of string, I'd never get tired of it. Yes, well, I did. Lately, I've been mostly thinking about my other project. Hey, Hank! I brought you a rubber band. Thank you, Putt-Putt. I think I know just the place to put it. I think it moved. Yes, it brings me one rubber band closer to getting into the goodness book of records. But I still need four more rubber bands. Don't worry, I can find four more. Excellent. Guess what I brought you? It's another rubber band. Thank you, Putt-Putt. I'll add it to the collection. It's growing. I'm ever so slightly closer to getting into the goodness book of records. But I still need three more rubber bands. I'll be happy to find them for you. Excellent. Another rubber band. I've found three. I just need two more. Hi, I'm Putt Putt. Please be quiet. Hi, I'm Putt Putt. Welcome to the library, Putt Putt. I'm Miss Bundle Nugget, the head librarian. In my spare time, I sing opera. I've got something I'd like to ask you. But first, hey, Pep, why don't you go find your favorite book? Now we can talk. Quietly. Miss Bundle Nugget, I'm throwing a big party for Pep's birthday tomorrow. Would you like to come? Definitely. Do you know there are bunnies in here? Yes, I'm afraid I do. They're messing up my nice straight stack of books. I don't know where they're coming from. The bunnies are one of the reasons my day isn't going so well. Maybe I can help. The problems all started when I lost my helmet. It's a beautiful Viking helmet with shiny horns. Can't you wear a different hat? Like that one over there? Heavens, no. I'm an opera singer. You can't sing opera without a Viking helmet, or it just seems silly. Oh, I want my hat. A missing hat and bunnies everywhere. I don't know where those bunnies are coming from, but I might be able to help. <laughs> Is this the story you'd like me to read to you? Once there was a puppy who went to a planet made of cotton candy, but he ate the whole planet, so he came home. The end. I'm glad that was a short story. I think that puppy wants to play with you, Pep. Off you go to play with your friend. Oh, 
Hello, my name's Putt-Putt. I'm Reginald Windbag the Third, balloon vendor to the rich and famous. Or at least I will be someday if I ever sell any balloons. Nobody ever buys any of my balloons. I could use some nice big balloons tomorrow for a party. I'd really like to help you out, but I've got problems of my own. This happens every time. <gasps> Here, try to take this balloon. I think these balloons are defective. You need to tie something around the end. Oh, what should I tie to the balloons? Traditionally, string. Oh, gee whiz. I've never sold any balloons, so I don't have any money to buy string. If I get you some string, will you give me balloons for the party? Sure. It's been my lifelong dream to supply an entire party with balloons that don't blow away. It's time to go, Pap. It's my old pal Rover. I met him when I went to the moon once. He's the best friend I made on the moon. Hi, Rover. Hiya, Putt-Putt. Are you enjoying being back here on Earth? Oh, yes, Putt-Putt. My ice cream business is really taking off. I'm selling ice cream to everyone, and I'd never be able to do that on the moon. You know, I could use some ice cream for an event tomorrow. An event? Yes, um, a sort of, well, I better not tell you in front of a certain someone. Uh, you're confusing me. Hey, Pep, your friend wants to play. Huh? Now that Pep's off with his friend, we can talk about the surprise party. Oh, a surprise party. I love surprise parties. Is it here on Earth? Yes, it's going to start in my garage tomorrow. Splendid! You know I'll be there, and I'll bring ice cream for everyone! Yay! And if you'd like a sample, choose a flavor from the menu, and I'll whip you up the best ice cream cone experience you'll have this year! Thanks, Rover! Mmm, ice cream! I gotta try them all! Lightning Lemon! Here you go, Putt-Putt. Oh! Here, Pep! Surprise! I brought you another rubber band. Thank you, Bud Bud. I'll add it to the collection. It's getting bigger. This brings me a little bit closer to making the goodness book of records. But I still need two more rubber bands. I'll get you the other two. Excellent. There's another rubber band. I found four so far. I just need one more to make five. Hot ziggity! Another rubber band. That makes five. Hank will be so happy. Shh. 
Hello, Torval. Yeah, how do you dare, Pod Pot? You sure do have a lot of apples. Yep, I sure do. I was supposed to take them to Mr. Baldini, but I hurt my back last night dancing with the chickens. I'll be okay, but I can't take the apples to Mr. Baldini right now. I can take some of them to Mr. Baldini if that would help. That would be wonderful, Pod Pot, and that might even clear a path to my dairy barn. Thank you, Torval. These apples look really tasty. Is it okay if I go to the hen house and look for fresh eggs? Oh, sure. That's the best place to find them. But keep an eye on them chickens. Don't believe everything they tell you. Wow! Look at this! This is a hen house. I bet these hens are laying eggs. Lizards like to eat eggs. Weepomatic. This pushes the eggs into the tubes. Hey! <laughs> Can I have an egg, please? Can I have a green egg, please? Can I have a yellow egg, please? Can I have an egg, please? Can I have a purple egg, please? Can I have an orange egg, please? Wow, what colorful cartons! I have to match the eggs to the colors in the carton. I'll leave these eggs in here for Torval. Snap it into place. Getting closer. Now I'm really close to getting into the goodness book of records. But I still need one more rubber band. Okay, I'll get you one more rubber band, even if it's the last rubber band in all of Car Town. Excellent. Oh, Hank. What is it, Putt Putt? I've got something for you. Oh, I sure hope it's a rubber band. It is. It is a rubber band. And it's even the right size. Thank you, Putt Putt. This will be the record-breaking rubber band that puts Car Town on the map. Moments from now, this will be the world's biggest ball of rubber bands. <laughs> Who are you guys? We write the goodness book of records, and we came as soon as we heard about all these rubber bands. We must uh, measure it and photograph it and make sure it's made up made of real rubber bands. It's tall enough. It's round enough. And it goes twang. It looks good in pictures. Hank. You set, set a world, world record. record! Yippee! Hot ziggity! We'd like to give you a certificate of achievement. I'd like to take a picture of you receiving a certificate of achievement. Over by the ball would look best. 
Smile. Um, maybe I could roll this back up real quick? Putt Putt, thank you for saving me the trouble of taking down my old ball of string. In fact, you can take away as much as you need. Now the people will be coming from tens of miles around to see my glorious ball of rubber bands. Thank you for the string. Don't mention it. I'll just clear some space for all the new tourists. I think that puppy wants to play with you, Pep. Off you go to play with your friend. <laughs> hey, Reggie, here's some string. Shh, but now I have string. Better hang on to this while I make sure it's really going to work. Thanks for helping me get my career back on track. You can have these balloons for the party and I'll be there tomorrow to make balloon animals for everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to practice. This bag is where I put the items I need to get for Pep's party. I still need a cake, confirmation from a magician, my gift for Pep, and a happy birthday banner. Here, Pep. That's the crystal of shiny sparkliness. Birds are mesmerized by its sparkle and will drop anything to have it. It's free if you want it or something. You sure you don't mind if I take it? Of course not. That's what free things are all about. And if you don't find it groovy enough for you, you can trade it for one of the other free things. Nifty! Stay groovy. Here's the apples you need. Wow, these are some super apples. They go right into the bin. Hey, the bin's not quite empty. A few of those pesky carrots fell into it. Oh, nobody wants a carrot, and I've got a plenty to spare. You cannot take them away. How do you like them apples? I like them. I like them a lot. Thank you for the apples. And thank you for the carrots. Hey, it's my favorite magician. 
Marvin the Marvelous. Hello, Marvin. Greetings and salutations, Putt-Putt. Tell me, Marvin, how's Trix? A great magician never tells, but a great magician shows. Alazuma Pasadena, and a one, and a two, and a... a la geranium. <laughs> it was supposed to be a bunny, not a book. Well, it's still a pretty good trick. It's not every day you get a book from a hat. I'm not sure what went wrong here. I've always been able to get happy bunnies from my magician's hat. Hmm. I think I know what's wrong. That doesn't look like your normal magician's hat. You're right. This must be someone else's hat. My hat is tall and flat on top and doesn't have horns. There must have been a mix-up in the cloakroom at my last show. I could help you find your hat. Oh, that would be ever so marvelous. I need my hat so I can pull out bunnies, not these library books. And I'm afraid they're, uh, overdue. Yipes! Don't worry, Marvin. I'll track down your bunny hat. But two caristas? I guess that means no waiting in line for Coco anymore. Is that Coco you're selling there? Well, hello there, young sir. Why, yes, but it's not just any Coco. Car Town's best, there's nothing sweeter, more fun than a totter teeter. Car Town's best, there's nothing hotter. What I meant was teeter totter. Here, why, you really should have a taste. That cocoa is very good. Thank you. Are you selling cocoa as well? As well? Why, you bet we're selling cocoa but not just any Coco. Carbucks Coco gives you spark in the town or at the park. It's so good the dogs all bark. Carbucks Coco. Here, you can judge for yourself. That's good, Coco. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Pep, could you do me a big favor and go get me some Coco? <laughs> Ah, now we can talk privately. I understand you're planning a party for Pip. Yes, it's going to be a surprise party tomorrow. I'm sure it will be a great party, and I'll be there. I need a cake for the party. You came to the right place. I can make very special party cakes for anyone, even puppies. And you can even help me decorate it. The only problem is that I'm out of two important ingredients. I need flour and eggs. Couldn't you just make a cake without them? Heavens no! Without those, it'd be more like a brick. If you bring me those ingredients, I'll make the cake and you can decorate it. Thank you, Pep. You're a good boy. Thanks, Papa. See you soon.
Hey, bunnies, look what I have. Carrots. Wow, I've never seen so many bunnies in a library before. Let's see if I can use these carrots to lure them back into that magic hat. Enjoy your carrot, little guy. Oh boy, another one. All the bunnies are back in the hat. Oh, the bunnies are back in the... You have a very nice singing voice, Mrs. Bundle Nugget. Why, thank you, Putt-Putt. I was classically trained by none other than the great Carvarotti himself. You don't need this magician's hat, do you? If you want to take it, please go ahead. The only hat I want has shiny horns on it. Thanks. I think this belongs to someone else. I'll take it back to its owner. Could you please be a dear and bring in those boxes for me while I wrap up your banner? Sure! Ms. Widget asked me to bring those in to her. But I should go in alone so Pep won't see the party banner. Yes, Pep. You can go play with the firehouse puppy. Here are your big boxes, Ms. Widget. Thank you, Putt-Putt. It'll just take me a moment to put these away. Give me a banner for the party? Sure! Here's a big, beautiful banner! As a reward for helping me with that silly crow, you can take this box of party goodies with you. Super! Thanks! This is the special bag Mrs. Widget gave me to store all of the items I need for Pep's party. I still need a cake, confirmation from a magician, and a gift for Pep. I can't wait to put up the party decorations. See you tomorrow! should go back to the fire station and pick up Pep. Here, Pep!
Torvo, is it okay if I go to the hen house and look for fresh eggs? Oh, sure. That's the best place to find them. Mrs. Goodbake is probably waiting for those eggs. Can I have a yellow egg, please? sweet <laughs> Matic. Oh, can I have an egg, please? That's the wrong color. Getting the eggs to go down. There's an egg in the carton that doesn't match the colored slide. There's an egg in the carton that doesn't match the colored slide. Can I have a purple egg, please? I'll come back and get the eggs later. Torvo, is it okay if I go to the hen house and look for fresh eggs? Oh, sure. That's the best place to find them. The hen house again. I should get those eggs for Mrs. Goodbake so she can bake a cake for Pep. Can I have an orange egg, please? <laughs> Weeple-matic. There, can I have an egg, please? Can I have an egg, please? Yes! Can I have a purple egg, please? Can I have a yellow egg, please? <laughs> All right, another one. Can I have an egg, please? to get these eggs to Mrs. Goodbake. Thanks again for all the fresh eggs, Torval. Oh, sure, Papa. You earned them. Help yourself to more if you like. That won't go there. Hello, Mr. Baldini. Hi there, a putt putt. What brings you here on a this a fine day? I'm doing a little shopping for a special occasion. A special occasion? You know, tomorrow. Oh, now I remember. Mildred brought me an invitation to your surprise party. I need to get some flour for Mrs. Goodbake. Oh, really? What the kind? Mind if I fill my sack with flour? Take a all you want. I'll just a put it on Mrs. Goodbake's a tab. Hooray! I have flour. Thanks, Mr. Baldini. Marvin, is this your magic hat? There's only one way to find out. Abracadabra, abracadiddle, abracadoodle. You did it! Great trick, Marvin! 
I am gloriously grateful for your help, Putt-Putt. Wherever did you find my hat? Your hat had been mixed up with Ms. Bundle Nuggets. Ah, our friendly local librarian, keeper of the books. I shall now return the other hat to her. Biblio! Bablio! Boom! <laughs> Let's watch the journey of the hat. Now that you have the right hat, will you be ready to put on a big show? Tomorrow? Of course. Expect me to appear at the party. Here's my card. On the back, there's a coupon for 20% off dry cleaning. Wow! 20% off dry cleaning? This bag is where I put the items I need to get for Pep's party. I still need a cake and a gift for Pep. Can you go out and get Mrs. Goodbake a cocoa, please? Here you go, Mrs. Goodbake. I got the flour you needed for Pep's birthday cake. Excellent, Putt-Putt. Now I just need one more ingredient, eggs. Thank you, Pep. Could you do me a big favor and go get Mrs. Goodbake another cocoa? Here are those eggs you needed for Pep's cake. Superb! And now, it's baking time! Leave it up to you to decorate it any way you like. Wow! Look at all of these decorations. Thanks, Mrs. Goodbake. Thank you, Pip. Hey, Pep! Could you do me a big favor and go get Mrs. Goodbake another cocoa? to decorate Pep's cake. That goodie bag is full of pieces of candy. And the letter, shape, and drawing tabs below that have even more great stuff. Shape. I can draw with those shapes. This is looking great. those shapes. Pep's really going to love this cake. 
The undo button can come in handy in case I goof. And there's a clear button to start over with a whole new cake. This is going to be the best birthday cake ever. <laughs> Look at all of these decorations. This is looking great. Color. I can change the color of my drawing tool. <laughs> Look at all of these decorations. This is going to be the best birthday cake ever. Pep is really going to like this cake. Thank you, Pip. Hey, Pep! Could you do me a big favor and go get Mrs. Goodbake another cocoa? The cake's all decorated. I'll put it in my party bag. This is the special bag Mrs. Widget gave me to store all of the items I need for Pep's party. All I need now is a gift for Pep. Thank you, Pip. Thanks, Pat Pat. See you soon. Mr. Kibble, I see you finished putting that machine together. And a very good job I did of it, too. How would you like to be the first one to make a dog tag with it? Would I? I sure would. Be my guest. Okay. Says here to just push the buttons at the bottom to choose the shape and color you want for your new tag. And if I want to put Pep's name on it? Hmm. If you would like your tag engraved, push the text button, then type your inscription. That's all there is to it? Yup. And once... Yay! I made a shiny new tag! I can put it on the collar if you'd like. Yes, please! All set! Thanks a bunch! I have everything I need for Pep's surprise party. I'll just set everything up tonight while Pep's sleeping. And we'll be all set to celebrate Pep's birthday in the morning. It's time to go, Pep. decorate for the party. There! All of the decorations are up for Pep's surprise party. Just one last thing before he wakes up. Everything is all set. Well, what do you think, boy? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! 
Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Pep! Happy birthday, Aw! It's not theirs today! Happy birthday, Pep! Here's your birthday cake! Everyone, stand back! Would you like to play again? <laughs> 